is Max and today we're going to be talking about how to win the swim and turn your weakest discipline into your strongest. Would you say that swimming is your strongest? Uh, I'd agree it's my strongest, yeah, yeah. Okay, definitely. It's definitely my weakest. So I'm hoping today can help. What would you say is the like biggest things that determine if you're gonna have a good swim or not? I think, I mean, essentially, before you're getting in the water, you wanna be nice and warmed up. You wanna be ready to go in the right mindset. And often in triathlon, you're gonna be going in with, you know, a big bunch of people. So you've gotta be ready for contact. You've gotta be ready potentially to maybe get kicked over the head or drag someone, drag your feet. But you can't let that phase you. You just gotta get after it. And uh, maybe try to find some good feet. Try to lengthen out where you can. Try to find some clear water inside line at the buoy. And, um, and I guess enjoy it as much as you can. And uh, just know that you've got two more legs coming, but you know, it's, it's crucial to set yourself up with a good swim. And as an amateur, an age grouper, someone who just needs to get better at actually swimming, I think the biggest things for me to perfect are pacing and then getting the consistency right, following a plan, making sure I'm making progress which is why today we are going to be talking about my new favourite gadget, um, the foam goggles, which basically do just that and a whole lot more. So you've actually been using the foam goggles yourself. What, what actually are they? What do they do? So yeah, I was first introduced to the foam goggles before Sub 7 back in May, where I was um, on Team Skipper, or informally on Team Skipper, following him with the foam goggles. So, um, I used them initially for open water, but also trialed them in the in the pool. And they're actually a in-water coach. I mean, as you can see on the on the on the goggle here, as I put them on, on my right side, I've got an inbuilt LED screen on my right that gives me my pace, my splits, my stroke rate, and um, to which I can sync up my workout. So if my coach wants to send me, you know, 20 by 100 or whatever, I've got that in there. Um, and I can see that real time without needing to look at a clock, without needing to get splits. So I can really just go to a pool, self-coach, so to speak, with my form goggles and just use that to you know, build my consistency and make sure that I'm hitting my times and, and, my, and my stroke rate. And you can even incorporate heart rate with the polar little attachment that I don't have here, but you can, you can do it. Um, uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's just kind of an all-round amazing tool. So does the goggle actually show you the pace you're going or the pace you should be going? Or can you do both? Um, so it's, that's a two-fold answer. So when you're open water, you can see your real-time pace, which is like amazing. amazing. Yeah. Um, and secondly, when you're in the pool, it, gives you, it can give you your 25 split, your 50 split, your 100 split, and your whole lap time. So as you're coming in the wall, as you're tumble turning, you can see your last 50 time, your last 25 time. So you say, let's say, for instance, you're doing a 400 threshold. You can see every 100, whether or not you're fading, accelerating, or keeping steady. So if you're really wanting to work on pacing and, and that sort of longer effort, yeah. they're, great, they're a great tool. That's perfect. And also you can, you can actually go on the app and select workouts to follow, as well as like plans. So if you are working towards your first ever triathlon in 16 weeks, you can follow the, the swim structure plan and all the workouts just appear on the goggles, right? Definitely. So Form has a very comprehensive app in which you can see you know, your previous swims, your current swims, but the workouts, they have pre-planned workouts, which are actually, I've done a few and are actually quite good. Um, but you can also plan and customize your own workout as you would on other platforms. So it's um, other platforms like cycling and running, which is a much easier kind of thing to do with a watch, but now to be able to do it with a goggle, I think is just phenomenal. Yeah, and it's so like subtle, like you don't even, once you're on your face, you don't even realize that there is, I guess, the, the technical part. Definitely, I mean, You've got them on and, and at first like it, it, it will be it will be it takes some getting used to to have a screen and seeing times yeah. and kind of having different inputs in the pool that you're already in a bit of a foreign environment. But after five, six minutes of using them, you'll just be, you know, sucked into to, you know, being consistent every 25 and, and just enjoying using this great product to be honest. I think the big thing for me with swimming and why I am not like consistently sticking to it is because I get a bit bored when mm. I just go to the pool, I don't have a plan, I'm swimming up and down yeah. and I'm one of those people that before I was putting a, like a yeah. paper wrapped yeah, yeah. around a bottle, it gets soaked and then you don't know what you're doing. Mm. So I think if I've got an actual workout every time, it'll keep me way more engaged and like actually motivated, keep the swim fun 
Yeah. I'm excited. So. Oh, I mean, definitely. Like, even, even from a professional standpoint, there's nothing worse than going to a pool. You can't really be bothered. It's cold outside. You don't know your set. But, you know, with these, when you've got them, when you've got them plugged in, you've got them ready to go, you can get there, do your thing, get in, get out, be efficient. And, um, and yeah, I mean, it's just a great way to keep yourself accountable. So, how are these actually going to help me win this win? Well, I can't guarantee that I'm going to help you win anything, but um, I can say that it is a very good tool for accountability. So I love, I love my Strava, I love my cycling, and I love getting back home and just looking at the segments, looking how fast I went up my local climb. And this really is, for me, the sort of answer to that swimming-wise. So usually I'd get back, put in my training peaks, oh, I've done an hour swim, felt great, whatever. Whereas these, I can really see what stroke I've done, I can see what workout I've done, I can see what my times were for each, for each 100 or each 50 or wh whichever yeah. session I did. So it really is like an I exercise in keep, see yeah. improvement, see consistency, and, uh, and yeah, and just, just basically also like, let's, let's call a stone a stone, like keeping you entertained while you're swimming, because like no one likes looking at the black line. And if you're looking at your stroke rate, your heart rate, and your times, I think it's a good way to keep you motivated. Definitely. So. Have we got a workout on here that you recommend that we should be doing today? Right, well, I'm not going to do a crazy hero workout. I'd love to be presenting you with a 6K mega set, but I'm two days out from Super League Toulouse, so today I think I'm going to hop in. I'm going to do 6 to 800 warm-up with some backstroke. Then I'm going to go into probably 850s build and some, a couple hundreds just at race pace, finishing off with some pull-away paddles and maybe some easy backstroke and kick. So let's load that into the app, get yep. the goggles. Let's do it. Okay. Head to the form website to get yourself a pair of the goggles. Let me know what you think, if you like them. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.